The first one is the lack of trust, the absence of trust. When people on the team aren't comfortable being vulnerable and admitting things, they're, they're positioning, so there's no trust. The second one, which, which flows out of that, is the fear of conflict. If they don't trust each other, they're not going to feel comfortable really arguing in a very open and honest way. The next one is the lack of commitment. Because if you don't argue, if you don't weigh in on an issue, you don't buy into that issue, and teams don't really commit. So, so the lack of commitment is the third. The next one, if people don't commit, and you know that your team hasn't committed, you're not going to hold them accountable. So it's the avoidance of accountability, of turning to a team member peer-to-peer and saying, I don't think what you're doing is going to help us, and having the courage to do that. And then the final one, and the reason why accountability is so important is the last dysfunction is the inattention to results. It's when people are not concerned about the collective good of the team, but they're more more focused on their budget or their department or their career instead of what's in the best interest of the team. So what we want teams to have is trust, good conflict, commitment, accountability, and a focus on collective results. (music) 